Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson, Tangle lesson, is finery. And it is a wonderful tangle by Zentangle.com. And here you see finery. And I've changed it just a little bit to make a leaf shape out of it. And here I've colored. And if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you how I color the rest of these. We'll just add a little color to this bookmark so you can see how I do it. Um, I'm going to use ink tense pencils and uh, a little um, odorless paint thinner. And um, so let's get started on finery. And I'm going to start out with a tile a square tile, and I'm going to put my dots in the corner and my borders. And we're just going to start with out a string on my pen. And I'm just going to draw, because I'm going to demonstrate this one right here, how we draw this one. So I just drew lines coming down from a corner on it. And then I'm going to start at this end and work my way up. Because I find going this direction is a little easier for me. So I'm going to do kind of a slight S curve up. I start right at the bottom. A little S curve. And I'm going to work my way up these two lines with my little S curve. And then I'm going to come down with my S curve. And now I'm going to go up with my S curve, noticing that I am putting my pen the same spot where I ended on one, I begin on the other. Now I'm going to come down with my S curve. That one came, kind of came over a mat, but I didn't have a long enough, but I like it. And um, now with finery, we can come in and we can make a little vein line. And we're going to come over here. I'm going to skip this one because I want it just to be coming down. And there we have finery. And you can see that I've embellished finery here with um, color and some fescue and little dots and um, a few other tangles. But there we have finery. You could even double this line on the outside on finery. So now I'm going to show you how I did the leaf shape one. Here is the leaf shape one on finery. So I just taking one of my bookmarks, I'm just going to draw a slight curve line. And then I'm going to make kind of a petal shape there. Another one. And another one. Then I'm going to come out and I'm going to make very defined petal shape. So now I have some leaf shapes now to do finery here. Do my S curve going up. And there we have the leaf shape. Now 
I will show you how I colored it. Okay, let's color this tangle. And today I'm using ink tense pencils. And I'm just going to put a little green. just along the outside edge and down my kind of leaf vines. And now I'm going to take my tortellini and I'm going to blend it. I'm going to get it wet on my with my um, paint thinner, and it's just going to dissolve the color and spread the color. So I can blend this color out. I can get different shades and intensity. Oh, I should have put some right down the center. Now I can add, I can shade this, come back and add another color, a pencil, if I want a little different color. We're going to get my, I use a little sponge in here to keep it from spilling so I can put it in my pencil bag and then it doesn't spill out, it absorbs into that sponge. And now we can add our little flowers. We can do the same thing. We can add a, a little bit of color. Now I'm going to change um, and this one's wet with a little green on it, so I'm, I have a dry one, but it has color on it. So I'm just going to clean that off of there. I think it had a little pencil lead. And so you can see just how you can color very easily with your color pencils and a little paint, odorless paint thinner. I'm just going to keep coloring, then I'll speed that up so you can see what it's like when I'm finished. I think I picked up a Prisma color and not an ink tint there, but they'll all work the same. There we have our little bookmark colored with colored pencils. Hope you enjoyed finery. It is a great tangle. There it is. Unshaded. If I were to shade it with my pencil, I would just come and shade just with my graphite. To be honest, I'm a real fan of just the gray and white. I love the black and white Zentangle. To me, it's very, very calming.
but I always want a shade. And there we have Finery. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And on Inkadoodles.com in the store, you can now purchase the bookmarks. So have a great day and tangle on.